Cordyline plant. Welcome to our beginner's guide to cordyline plants. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of cordyline plants, their various types, care tips, and how to grow them successfully in your home or garden. The cordyline plant is commonly found in Southern Europe and Southeast Asia. Maintaining this beautiful tropical plant is relatively easy. This palm-like plant has been used for food and medicine by Asian tribes for years. For instance, they would roast the plant's roots and use the extracted sugar from it. In Papua New Guinea, local tribes used to create fences between their agricultural lands by tying the long leaves of this plant together. The plant comes in two stunning colors, green and red. Its beauty truly shines when placed alongside other plants. The easy care, high resilience and adaptability of this plant explain its overwhelming popularity. Some types of cordyline produce beautiful and fragrant flowers. These flowers will have berry-like fruits. The cordyline flower is almost white and resembles a speckled lavender. They have a cup-like shape and emit a sweet scent. They bloom in early summer, and as the flowers open, tiny fruits also appear. Usually only cordylines planted in gardens produce flowers, but occasionally the indoor varieties might surprise you with their blooms. Care Instructions Light It's best to place the cordyline in a semi-shaded environment, and you should be mindful that direct sunlight can cause leaf burn. Cordylines require sufficient but indirect sunlight. Direct sunlight can be harmful to cordylines kept as indoor plants, leading to leaf burn. However, the color of the leaves also plays a role in this regard. Cordylines with green leaves thrive well when exposed to direct sunlight, whereas other types of cordylines prefer indirect or filtered sunlight. Watering. Never let the cordyline dry out and become thirsty. Keep its soil consistently moist, and if it doesn't rain much, water it yourself. Due to its water needs, the soil for cordyline should have good drainage. The most important thing to remember when watering cordyline and almost all other plants is not to place the plant in waterlogged conditions, as it quickly leads to root rot. Humidity and temperature. Cordylines thrive well in temperatures above 15 degrees Celsius and prefer a high humidity environment. Avoid placing the plant near cooling devices or windows, especially if the outside temperature drops below 15 degrees. Remember, cordyline is a jungle plant, so if the plant starts dropping leaves, increase the temperature and humidity of the environment. The ideal temperature for cordyline is between 18 to 21 degrees Celsius, and if it gets hotter, make sure to mist the plant. Soil.Cordyline requires rich, high-quality soil with good drainage. Use potting soil with a pH of 6 to 6.5 for it. If you're moving the cordyline outdoors during the warmer seasons, make sure the soil has good drainage. But Fertilization. You can give this plant a mild fertilizer in spring. For this purpose, choose a slow-release pellet fertilizer. During the growing seasons, you can boost the plant's growth by adding a liquid fertilizer with a 202020202 at half strength once a week. Do not fertilize the plant during the winter. Pests and diseases. Despite its beauty, cordyline can be susceptible to pests and problems. The most common pests include mealybugs, spider mites, and various other types of scale insects. Sometimes fungal diseases, bacterial rot, or root rot can also affect this plant. If the plant is infested with pests, you can easily solve the problem using a water and soap solution. A mixture of water and alcohol can also be beneficial. Spray the mixture on all parts of the plant. 
If a leaf's infestation is clearly visible, you can wash it separately. Overall, remember to isolate the diseased plant from other plants. A common problem for cordyline is the browning of leaf tips and edges. This issue can occur due to various factors such as overwatering leaf burn from excessive chemical fertilizers, root drying out, or excessive air drying out, or excessive air dryness. One of the most common causes of this problem is the type of water. Hard water typically causes issues with cordyline. Hard water is water with high levels of salt, chlorine, and fluoride. All these substances can accumulate in the plant's soil, causing leaf burn and consequently browning of leaf tips. The solution is to use filtered water. If you don't have a water purification system, you can pour regular water into a container overnight and let it sit until morning. This helps in getting rid of the chlorine present in the water. Propagation methods for cordyline. Division dot due to its rhizome root structure, cordyline can produce new shoots over time. You can easily separate these shoots from the mother plant and plant them in a new pot. Stem cuttings. For propagation through this method, select a healthy and young stem. Using a sterilized knife or cutter, cut the stem just below a leaf node. Dip the cut end into rooting hormone and place it in a light soil mix to encourage root growth. Ensure the location of the cuttings remains consistently moist. After two to three weeks, your plant should begin to root. Once the roots are two to three centimeters long, you can transfer them to the original pot with a light soil mix. Seedsowing.to propagate through this method, sow the seeds in late summer or early spring. Place the seeds on a mix of peat moss and perlite, then cover them with compost soil. After sowing the seeds, water them with a spray bottle and place the pot in a location with medium light. Once the seedlings reach a height of 8 to 10 centimeters, transfer them to the main pot. repotting time. If you notice root protrusion or lethargy in the plant's leaves, it's time to repot. Generally, the best time to repot this plant is once every two to three years. Types of cordyline plant. Cordyline is a plant species that is widely distributed worldwide. There are numerous different species of cordyline. Here are some of the well known types of cordyline. Please note that these are just a few examples of cordyline species, and many others exist. Cordyline Australis cabbage tree. Cordyline fruticosa tea plant. Cordyline stricta. Cordyline banksy forest cabbage tree. Cordyline petiolaris. Cordyline pumilio.